Hi everybody, I'm Delicia, and thanks for tuning in to my weekly top five cigar picks. These are the cigars that I plan on smoking this week. Hopefully you join me for your week of smoking and be sure to post all your fun pictures on Instagram and tag me in those. I like to follow the journey along with all of you. So this week um, I have a variety of a lineup here, some old, some new, some ready to be released, but not just yet. So. Here we go, starting with my number five cigar this week. Uh, we have the La Paulina. This is the El Año 1896 Oscuro. So it has this nice little tissue, uh, secondary band, kind of a protective little footing on this cigar. It is a box pressed little beauty. And again, nice, uh, beautiful Oscuro wrapper on this guy. So La Paulina is one of those brands that um, has actually been around for a while. It, took a little bit of a, a pause um, a, years ago and then was revived again by uh, Mr. Bill Paley, which is a, a great guy. So this one again, paying homage to the original date that the brand was found, founded, the 1896 date. Um, let's take a look at this one. So it's featuring a Mexican San Andres wrapper, Dominican filler and binder. So this is a nicely balanced cigar. You're going to get those notes of cedar. You get, you know, that type of a wood uh, element to it. Little bits of leather. You do pick up some cocoa um, and a little bit of kind of from what I remember, a little bit of a red pepper. So nice, uh, nice variety on this one. And I do believe it is featured at around the 950 price point. I was not able to find all of these price points. Um, I try to do that from time to time and give you guys, you know, what you should kind of expect to pay for these cigars. Cause again, um, those of us who smoke often, it does start to add up, but, um, here we go. So moving along to number four, uh, we have this beautiful Maduro by Christoph and it happens to be in this beautiful shape, a Lancero. So this was actually part of my shipment for January through Pravada Cigar Club, and I'm excited to smoke this. I have not smoked it before. Obviously, I just have the one here. If you watched the box unveiling, um, there was a lot more detail on this particular stick, but it's one of those extremely hard to find for the particular Vitola. So this is a very vintagey, very aged Lancero, and I'm very excited to light this one up. So definitely, if you can find one, or some of you, I think, commented on that video that you happen to have some in your humidor from way back when that you found it. So again, search and scatter and see if you can find them in uh, humidors around uh, the United States. Or of course, if you're part of the Pravada Cigar Club, perhaps you've received yours. And in that case, uh, I invite you to light up with me this week. So that one is of course, featuring a Brazilian Maduro wrapper, Dominican filler and binder. Um, Going off of the tasting notes that was given to me by the Pravada Cigar Club, it's saying, you know, the sweet molasses, it's saying the red peppers, cocoa, earth, kind of a fresh bread. So we'll see if that's true um, when I light it up to smoke it. So again, make sure you're following me on Instagram where I post uh, pictures as I smoke these throughout the week. Moving along to number three is actually the cigar that I have in hand right now. This big six by 60 guy right here, the founder. So this cigar is actually... I don't believe, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, it could be starting to uh, leak out there, but I think they're not officially released just yet. This is kind of like a teaser, a sampler that I was fortunate enough to receive from Wild Bill's Tobacco. So this is gonna be one of, I believe there's four different lines within their new brand that they'll be launching called The Founder. This one is the first edition and it does come um, off the top of my head. I believe it's three different wrappers. I'm smoking the Maduro. I've smoked a few of these and um, they're very nice, good flavor. This particular one is a collaboration with Rocky Patel. So um, he blended these uh, alongside, um, I believe, you know, others that were making this cigar very special again for the Wild Bills Tobacco. If you're not familiar with them, definitely check out their website, wildbillstobacco.com. I will be doing um, some trips upcoming out that direction in, uh, what is it, Michigan. So stay tuned for those dates. If anybody lives in Michigan, I will be posting those. Again, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Cigar Vixen. I'll be posting itineraries and all of that fun stuff for some really cool events around some of these cigars. But again, getting back to it, the founder, um, just nice flavor so far. This one is the Maduro. I don't have all the blend information. Again, it is new. 
But flavor wise, I can tell you, you do pick up those nice cocoa, kind of a dark chocolate. You do pick up um, a little bit of an earthy underlying um, undertone in there. And then again, that nice dark chocolate mixture of a little bit of a coffee bean kind of all played together. Hints of leather are coming through, but really tasty. So I can't wait to continue to smoke these down and you know, go through them. And again, if any of you maybe, you know, buy cigars from there or you've seen them around or you've heard that they're coming, um, I'd love to hear the feedback from all of you. So moving down the line to the number two cigar this week, this is the Oliva Siri V, no newcomer by any means. This one's been around for quite some time. It is one of those old trusty cigars that if you're looking for something good, you know that you can depend on, you know, who doesn't like an Oliva Siri V. It's one of those types of sticks. So very flavorful on this one featuring a Nicaraguan Habano sun-grown wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and filler. Of course, this one gives you the leathery aromas. You pick up the rich tobacco, black pepper uh, spice on there. You do pick up a light roast coffee, hints of cedar, and light citrus notes. It's a very nice cigar. And moving along to my number one cigar of the week. This one has been in the lineup many times, but it has been a little while since I've revisited this blend. It's phenomenal. This is the Sobre Mesa, blended by Steve Saka, made at the Hoya de Nicaragua factory, featuring a beautiful Ecuadorian Habano grade one dark rosado wrapper, San Andres Negro binder, and Nicaraguan and Pennsylvania filler. This time I'm smoking the Cervantes Fino. It's a six and a quarter by 46 parejo. Flavors on this one are just amazing. It's a creamy smoke. You get a sun-drenched cedar, dusted cocoa powder, dark roast coffee bean, dark cherry. It's just very balanced, complex, consistent. It's a great stick, definitely recommended if you've never had one, but hopefully you have. And again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting these pictures throughout the week. And if you care to join me with any of these cigars, be sure to tag me in your pictures as well. And as always, I thank you so much for hanging out and tuning in, and I can't wait to see you next week. Cheers.